Welcome to the stream. Uh, my name is Sumner. I am a software engineer at Beeper. Beeper is a chat application that allows you to integrate all of your chat networks into a single app. So Twitter, Facebook DMs, uh, Instagram DMs, WhatsApp, um, Slack, Discord, LinkedIn, and iMessage are just some of the ones that we have. I work on the bridge team, which is the team that does the integrations with all of those different chat networks. For example, um, when I started, I worked on the LinkedIn bridge. Since then, I've moved on to other bridges uh, between maintenance and um, also just um, bug fixing and also adding some new features. Uh, recently, we've been adding a bunch of metrics and tracking around, making sure that all of the messages are getting through. So that's been my primary focus lately. Okay, so we're about two minutes out from day one starting. And I have my uh, starter code up over here. It's fairly extensive. You can see <laughs> it's almost 300 and it's 325 lines, so that's a lot. Um, most of it I probably won't need, but it's nice to have a lot of these functions available. Um, I had a pretty short stream yesterday going through and making sure that everything's in order and trying to remember all of the fun commands that I have. Um, so yeah, it should be good. Have this git input ready. <clears throat> Hoping that it doesn't crash this time like last year. Last year, the advent of code servers went down um, on day one um, because of the load. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen here. So as with last year, I have a private leaderboard um, with some friends from Colorado School of Mines. So this will be interesting to see, uh, see how this goes. A lot of the people from last year are competing again, so um, I'm probably not going to do great, but you know that's fine. Goal is again solve all the problems. I think that's totally doable, and hopefully, um, hopefully I'll get in top 1,000. That's sort of the ideal for each day. Um, Last year was not like that, so. Um, okay, 30 seconds out. I guess I can actually, sh uh, I'll, I'm gonna hold off on doing any requests. It's, um, the servers are probably at max capacity right now, so I'm gonna avoid making uh, as many requests as possible. Um, so 20 seconds, I'm gonna click on this, then I'm gonna hop over to the get input and that'll also show me the input as well. Um, so yeah, here we go. I'll try and give commentary as we go. Sometimes it's extensive, sometimes not really. Okay. Yeah, that was really good. Okay, um, consider three measurement sliding window, okay. Um, so let me just Okay, so I need to calculate the, this is the core of the algorithm, but the, the sequence is different. Um,
I hope that's right. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! That was awesome. Okay, cool. Um, so that was that was really nice. Okay, so what happened here? Um, well, that was the best I've ever done. Advent of code is being slow. Come on, leaderboard. There we go. So first hundred users, you get both stars. I was down here, two minutes 22. So that's really good. Um, And I, I lost some a little bit of time, some slight time. I was 38 on part one, but happy happy with the top 100 on both of those. That's that's insane. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll go through my code real quick. Um, so first of all, I had some starter code that just did this. Um, Int, um, uh, int x for x and lines. This basically converts everything to an integer. And as soon as I saw the input, I saw it was just a, a sequence of integers. Um, so I just immediately uncommented that and used it. And then uh, for part one, the, the question was, how many times uh, is the current measurement greater than the previous one. So basically you just have to have a, a single line look back. Um, so 200 um, is greater than uh, 199 and then 28 is greater than 100. So you just need to know what the previous value is. The easiest way that, well, I don't know if the easiest way, the way that is intuitive to me to do this is via a zip of the sequence and the sequence but missing the first element. So in Python, when you have sequence of one colon, um, this gives you the list starting at index one. And when you zip, it iterates through both of the, or all of the items that are given and um, pairs the first two indices together, second two indices, third two indices, etc., cetera. And, um, then returns them as a tuple. So I'm iterating through the that list of tuples effectively. This isn't really a list, it's a generator, but we'll go with a list. And if j is greater than i, then answer plus equals one. You notice that my starter code already had answer equals zero and return answer. So um, a lot of the problems in advent of code are reliant on this, you know, just integers. So a lot of times the answers end up being um, an integer. So that that worked out pretty nicely. Um, so that was, that was part one. Part two, um, was very similar. So instead of looking at the individual numbers themselves, you're supposed to look at the sum of the measurements in the sliding window. So window um uh, window one is like the sum of 199 200 and 208 so ABC and um oh this may not be correct my implementation may have been a little bit of a cheese Wait, so B is 200, 208, 210. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I was correct. Yeah, A, A, B, 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 C, 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 D, 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 etc. Okay, yeah. So um, basically you have to chunk by threes. So the first three goes into a sum, second set of three goes into a sum, third set of three starting at this, this 
this one here goes into C and then you base you do the same algorithm but it's based on on those sums instead so what I did down here and it wasn't you know it was it was fine um, it was just a little bit slow when I was implementing this is I created all of the new sums so let me just see here Windows was a good variable name, I think. Um, yeah, zip. Uh, same technique, but now I'm zipping three elements, starting from index 0, starting from index 1, starting from index 2. And um, one other thing that I noticed... Um, let's see. There is something that I, so the, the one thing that I was trying to figure out is do I need to worry about the bounds on either end? And stop when there aren't enough measurements left to create a new three measurement sum. I, I read this and realized that I didn't have to worry about any edge cases at the end, which is really nice. Um, Cause that means that zip will just work fine. Zip stops as soon as one of the lists runs out. So all this is doing is appending um, i plus j plus k to the windows. This gives me a new list that has the values of each of the windows, and then I do the same exact algorithm, but instead of sequence, I use windows. Um, so yeah, that's that. Let's see if anybody else is done. Look, yep, a lot of people are done. Um, So looks like Sam was right after me, I guess. Uh, I guess he was third and then second. Kelly was second and then third. So his delta time was three minutes. Um, yeah, that was crazy. I, I, I've never done that well. Uh, and I don't think I will ever do that well again. So uh, I'm going to enjoy it while, while it lasts. And let me do a bit of extra cleanup here. I, I think part of it was I just went for it. Just kind of was in the flow. That, that was really nice. Um, so uh, a lot of this I can just delete. Manhattan distance. You can see there's tons of stuff that I have in these utility functions that hopefully will be useful later on. You know, dictionary inversions, for example, uh, graph inversions, stuff that like suck to write. <laughs> um, so let's just nuke a bunch of that stuff. Nuke that, that, that. Oh, hey, Joshua, welcome to chat. I did better than I ever have done before. Let's go find it. Leaderboard. Oh, wait, how do I see this? Personal stats. 3866. So, um, yeah, really happy about that. How did things go for you? I guess a 150, 193. That's that's good for for getting that November is uh, 30 days. Yeah, I don't know what happened today. I guess I just like saw it immediately. So, um, yeah, really happy about that. And I think the one thing that I did have. Is is I had this in my starter code where it just converted integers to to lines. Oh, sorry, converted each line to an integer. Um, and that was nice. I just uncommented that and it worked out. And then I also in my functions for each part I have um, 
I already initialized answer to zero. So for problems like this, where it's just a sum um, and accumulation, it was really, really convenient to be able to just plus equals one when the condition was met. Yeah. Um, is there anything else here that's interesting? I don't really think so. Let's commit this since it was pretty good. 2021 add day one. Um, so this is, this is my friend's leaderboard. Looks like we have now six people who solved both, both stars. Um, and I'm expecting solves on the other ones pretty pretty soon here. It's going to be competitive when th once things get in into full swing, um, especially once I start messing up and, you know, not doing the simple thing and not looking up the Chinese remainder theorem or something stupid. So, um, let's see here. Oh, let's add... Add so this to the README, and then we'll get out of here because I don't think there's much else to do today. All right, um, well, I'll post this to YouTube. Uh, and I'll be back again tomorrow. So see ya.